All right, guys. So some of you guys are probably familiar with what you have, what you're looking at right, right here in front of me. Uh, I've been thinking about this, uh, this drum right here, the CDF drum on the uh, 10R80s. And the very common problem on this thing, almost every single unit that I get in, the ceiling ring is that it's always damaged. This one from the from the bottom, it's always damaged. So you got to replace this drum every single time because the sleeve moves down. The sleeve moves down, and what I believe is going on is that this bushings are wearing out. And I mean, you, you can see that it's worn out and you can actually see right here where the bushing meets together. And you can see a little bit of unworn area right here, but then it's worn all the way around. It has a little bit of oil still. I, I tried to clean it the best I could uh, just to show it on camera, but it's worn all the way around. This one here, this bushing is worn also all the way around. And what I believe is going on, as you can see right here on the bottom, is a portion of unworn area. And what I believe, what I believe is going on is that uh, this being installed in here, it's just rocking back and forth that you see right there. It just rocks back and forth, back and forth, and it starts rubbing on the sleeve itself. And I'm not sure this sleeve rotated, but once I get the new drum in, I'll compare it with this one. But as you can see here, I mean, we have a port open right here. And the ceiling ring, this ceiling ring right here, it was caught in between there, in between the sleeve and that uh, groove right there, which the sleeve supposed to be all the way up here. And you can see a port right here that, that is open, and it was leaking fluid out, fluid out of there. And you can see another on the opposite side, there's another port over here, which is these holes right here. And uh, these are uh, balanced fluid for this, uh, for the piston here. And the pistons, I got them all dirty over here, but let me bring the piston to go there. Okay, so I got, they're all dirty. That's not the one that goes there. This one that goes on the opposite side. And the fluid gets like this all brownish. So this one goes in there. And then you have the compensator, not compensator feed. I mean, this is a Ford, but you do a balanced fluid on this piston. It's what's, what's leaking off. So you're losing all the oil here. And this ceiling ring moving all the way up here, you're losing fluid here. And you're by, by this sleeve moving down or that way i mean it's causing some other issues in the in the d and in the f this is the cdf drum and what i was thinking i mean i don't know bushing manufacturers or whatever uh if you can come up with a uh i don't know if a teflon coated bushing would work there on both sides and then, like Transco has those uh, high temp sh uh, shrink rings, uh, I believe that would be a good alternative here. I don't think the, the the shrinkage on this rings is the problem. I think more of the problem is the pushings themselves, because you can see right here where it's been rubbing on the sleeve, and this uh, I mean, the the bushing themselves they're supposed to be centered and true, and this this parts right here where the, the, the grooves where the ceiling rings go, they're not supposed to touch the uh, the sleeve at all. You know, the ceiling ring is the one doing the, the ceiling, the work. And the, the hub itself is not supposed to be touching at all. And if I rotate, it's only right here. It's only on one side. I'm not sure the camera is picking it up, but right here on these three areas is worn out. Is worn out where this where this area right here is being rubbing on the sleeve. And I rotate it some more. And we come back around to the same area right here. 
it's, it's worn right there, it's worn right there, and it's worn right there. And the ceiling ring, down here, it doesn't look like it's been rubbing, but the ceiling ring gets rolled like this. See how it's all damaged? Because it gets caught on, on the groove right there. It gets caught on that groove in between. There's not supposed to be a groove right here. This leaf's supposed to be up here. So it would be a it would be nice that uh some of you guys that uh that fix you know do the fixes for us you know like Transgo Superior or Sonics or whatever come up with the the bushings not only for this piece right here for this drum but for this piece as well because some of these drums you get the unit disassembled and some of these drums are still good so it would be it would be wise to replace those bushings and uh, with Teflon coated or any type of uh, eyewear bushing. And this right here, this is completely wore out. I mean, you can see right there, you can see the where the where the uh, bushing meets together or the bushing opening. You know, when I cut the bushings uh, to replace them, I try to look for that area because that would kind of unfold it and easy to remove. But this bushing is completely wore out. And the center shaft goes through there. This one, not so bad, but I, I mean, Babbitt bushings. Babbitt bushings has always been an issue. Uh, steel back bushings. I like steel back bushings, you know, like, uh, like this is a steel back bushing. I like this type of bushings better. I'm not sure if that would work uh, for this application. I mean, but you can also use like a Teflon coated. If I coated bushing, uh, with the pump bushing on this thing. But there's some. Well, this is a pump bushing. This is not Teflon coated, but I mean, like a Teflon coated bushing for the drum and this piece right here. You know, uh, I mean, trying to eliminate this issue right here further down the road, and probably I'm not sure if it's possible once we remove the bushings that we could probably push that sleeve down in place, you know, where it's supposed to go. And, uh, or unless there's a defect in the manufacturing of this drum that is causing the sleeve to move, or the sleeve might not be long enough because it looks like it's moved over here too, on this side. But anyway, I mean, this is just food for thought. You know, I'm thinking about this and I know that a lot of you guys, builders over there, out there that are seeing the same issue with this drum. And it's very rare that I do one of these units that this drum is not damaged like this. So there you go, guys. 10R80. 10R80. And uh, I would like to have your feedback from you guys and see what you guys think about this. And see if there could somebody could make a fix for this thing. And that's the only issue, just that sleeve, the bushings. And the main issue that I believe is going on is the bushings themselves causing that sleeve to, to walk like that. All right, guys. Well, I'm Hiram. Uh, give me your feedback, your thoughts on it. And uh, I guess we'll talk about it on the next one.